Good morning, folks. We've got better slow motion lightning shots, the best Hawaii collapse event on video yet from the USGS, satellites and top news stories as well, but let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Very calm last 24 hours. The corona hole and filament are departing and afterwards we'll have an even more bland disk than we have now. The reason the plasma filament has remained stable is clear this morning. Brighter magnetic fields arch above the line, sort of like a seat belt containing the plasma rope. Solar wind telemetry shows a plateau in stream intensity. No further density shock waves. We have one more instability reverberation, but geomagnetic storms remain absent. More solar wind is likely on its way from the backside of the coronal holes turning through here. Little flicker near the north polar coronal hole was a filament collapse. Time for the satellites. Summer pattern again yesterday. Couple top notes from the night, but we're starting with more of our slow motion lightning shots. Even from far away, on approach, you could tell it was going to be epic. As the storm did approach, it was doing the ground charge stirring out ahead of the thundercloud, which gave us the perfect angle of viewing as it was coming right at us. Step leaders break out until they meet the ground, then the connection is made and the energy heads back up into the global electric circuit. About 25 seconds later, it started pouring. Up next, we're watching that storm train running up the east. Numerous reports of significant storms did come in, including a tornado that dropped near Washington, D.C. Storms aren't exactly heading out this evening. Got at least another day of that there. Looking at the edge of the system peeking into the Atlantic, the oppositely flowing winds do make for a gorgeous display as well. One more look from Himawari here, tropical system displaying incredible earth spot penumbral whistlers around the outside. Even without a defined eye or powerful winds, the low is presenting a gorgeous structural display of the earth spot form. Top quakes of the last day struck off the coast of Oregon. Fives there are rare and they got two in one day. Couple other noteworthy events, including a 5.6 eruption signal at Hawaii, the largest yet, but which was downgraded to 5.3. The collapse events have been incredibly detailed on LIDAR, showing a before and after based on what has happened here the last two months. Meanwhile, the USGS managed to get the best shot yet of the eruption, including the pressure wave driven by the collapse event. I have sped this up a good bit from what they have so you can see it in motion. Full video on the USGS Volcanoes Twitter feed. Just a couple of science notes. Interesting article out on asteroids near Earth. They've put all the ones they know about onto one animation sequence to offer a window into how cluttered the inner system actually is. Putting on my Captain Confusion hat for this, all the dust in the Martian atmosphere appears to have blown off of one deposit near the equator called Medusae Fosse. How this could be is beyond imagination, until you realize it sits at the edge of Valles Marineris and the Tharsis Triple Mound feature. A much-awaited first review of the claim of a dark matter signal is in. The original paper claimed to find a potential signal in globular groupings, but this review debunks the idea, sort of a go-back-and-try-again sort of statement. Up last, the EPA wants to get rid of the transparency rule. This states that if you can't show the world your data, you can't publish it. The EPA wants to be able to hide it. Now, while I could see arguments for medical studies having de-identified data or data that's hidden entirely, that does not go for the environment. No cause for secret data. Folks, if you missed last night's video, it addresses the thousand times asked question about the planets all being on one side of the sun right now. If you didn't see it, it is a critical look at the facts along with our next seismic outlook. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 AM in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.